This is Mrs. Wilkoskis in the library. It is um, November 16, 2015, and this is on using video resources as research resources for your research project on uh, the destruction of Pompeii and Herculaneum in 79 AD due to Mount Vesuvius. Sorry, it's a big old long sentence there. Alrighty, um, I'm hoping you guys know uh, about our video resources here we have, here to, that we have at St. Pius. We have a video room that you can come check the DVDs out. But we also have a lot of video on demand resources. And they're full length videos that are segmented down into little tiny segments based on maybe possibly what you need. So to get to our video on demand resources, there's an AV page, audio visual page on our Haiku page and click right here to get your student usernames and passwords. They are generic. Um, so you're not creating your own account. If for some reason you want to do that, come see me. I'll be happy to create one for you. Um, but I'm going to just show you what we have in these different databases. Um, I don't think we have anything in NBC Learn pertaining to this um, this project. Um, it's a shame because it's a powerful resource. And I'd love to show you how to use it some other time, though. So I'm just going to focus on this topic. So I'm going to go to Classroom Video on Demand. Let me drag this over. Okay, so I'd come into Classroom Video on Demand. This is the landing page. We should be authenticated by being in, um, since we're entering through Haiku. If not, remember, in case you don't remember, there's always this remote passwords page. It has all the remote passwords to all the different databases. Okay, so I type in here Vesuvius or Pompeii, click um, search, and I'm going to get, here's one on, actually, let me do this. I think I've skipped a step. Here we go. So here are a list of search results. And you can see that this is a segment called Mount Vesuvius. It's a minute and 29 seconds, and it's in a full-length video called Rick Steves, Europe, Naples, and Pompeii. So we can scroll down. You can see other things. Here's one that's three minutes and 14 seconds. It's in a video called In Search of History. Uh, that's how these things work. Okay, so if you want to go into and do more research, you could actually go into um, Pompeii Daily Life of Ancient Rome. This is the segment. This is a full-length video. So I'm going to click here. You will see the segment right here. It's segment number 11 in the full-length video. The video is 50 minutes long, but you could actually, if you felt like this would be of help to you, giving you background information, you could actually start at the beginning. You can cite videos just like you would normally cite all resources, and here's how you get your Chicago Turabian. Just copy and paste. So this was number 11. So let me just show you segment 11. So if you're watching this and you find it helpful after I think it's a like it's a four minute video, four minute 55 second, then you can actually come over here, grab the transcript. It As you play this, it will play the part of the transcript that you're, it's reading from. It's very helpful. You can actually search in the search within the transcript if you're looking for a specific word, but I think it's so much easier to paraphrase from the written word than it is from watching the video. You'd have to go back and listen to it a couple different times. You can even quote it by copying and pasting, and as long as you cite it correctly, that's appropriate. Okay, so that's how you would use Classroom Video On Demand. I'm going to move along to Discovery Education. So let me show you what Discovery Education looks like. I think I accidentally got rid of the tab. Let me show you what you have to do. When, this is what the landing page of Discovery Education looks like. You have to go to My Discovery Education, and I did it beforehand because it's, it's slow today, and this is what it looks like. It says, Hi, St. Pius, the 10th SPX student, and I type in, I think I typed in Vesuvius. Okay, and again, I actually already loaded it, and I got, um, let's see if it takes, took me a long time. Here we go. Here are my results, but it took me a long time to load the video. So here are these different results I have. Let me just show you how you would limit it. There's a lot in uh, Discovery Education of varying, um, varying quality for you. So let me just show you how you're going to do this. You want to get rid of anything from K through 5. In Classroom Video on Demand, there's nothing that low, but there is on, on Discovery Ed. So you need to limit it and so that you're not messing with videos that don't pertain to you. Okay, we're also going to do, sometimes it says media type and there's other options here. You want to hit view. I don't want images. You're not trying to find images. You just want videos. So when this pops up, you would just click 
unclick images so that it would take out any any images. So it just it gives you a smaller group of results to pick from that are more appropriate. So I'm going to keep going on. I picked the natural disasters one and you can see here is a five minute segment on Mount Vesuvius and Pompeii. Um, see and then if this was a value to you you could actually go into the transcript like you could do in the other ones and transcripts are not available for everything it's available for many things and this will load in a second and you can even search the transcript it's not as easy to cut and paste or to read from as it is in classroom video on demand if you have the option i would go with classroom video on demand and then the last one i wanted to show you is on pbs now the pbs resources are just stunning and helpful and useful and they're the best that we have but it's a terrible search platform so bear with me so what we're gonna do I search for Pompeii and I'm going to just click premium otherwise you get all these little tiny tidbits of information that you don't really need and you're really looking for the videos the good videos so you could also click video because they also will have like just images here we go so you've got these segments here on Roman cities. These are, and actually, if I remember correctly, you can go in and grab just like this whole series by David McCauley. So you would go in and type in Roman city and you would get more information, but not just on Pompeii. But you will find this PBS stuff is the best resources and they're interesting and they're helpful but there is no transcript and there is no easy way to search it's a very odd search function so let me know if you're if you're running into some problems you think it's somewhere on this database and you can't quite find it i'll be happy to try and help um, but and then gpb or the pbs also has younger age groups too so you have to watch here it has already limited it from 6 to 12 but sometimes you'll find things like uh, rough, uh what's it called you know rough rough men and um and what's it, word girl on here like like you would see on pbs after school someday so anyway it's out there too it's great stuff you have to cite it yourself and you have to search for yourself let me know if you have any questions i'm always happy to help